Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In the previous video, we learned that how to design a concrete mix using the ACI code. And in this video, we will learn that how to design a concrete mix using the Indian Standard Code 10262. Okay. I have been given a question which states that we have to design a concrete mix to be used in the structural elements by IS method. Okay. Having the following requirements characteristic uh, compressive strength at 28 days should be 25 megapascal. Maximum size of the available aggregate is 20 mm. Shape of the coarse aggregate is angular. Degree of workability desired that is the compacting factor is 0.85. Degree of quality control is good and type of exposure is moderate. The properties uh, for the materials okay, you can see for coarse aggregate, fine aggregate and for cement test material property and also the grading for the aggregates is given. Okay, that's the percentage passing for the coarse and the fine aggregates. Okay, now we have to design the mix. You can see a different properties for coarse aggregate and fine aggregate. Specific gravity is 2.72 for fine aggregates 2.66. Water absorption is 0.5%. For coarse aggregate and nil for fine aggregates moisture content is nil for coarse aggregate but two percent for fine aggregate specific gravity of cement is 3.15 and compressive strength of cement at 28 days is 51 uh, mega uh, 51 newton per mm square okay also uh, our sand this is conforming to the uh, zone third of is 383 1979 okay first uh, we have to find the target mean strength of our uh, design concrete okay so you can see the table given uh, in which the assumed standard deviation for different degree of controls is given okay this uh, table has been taken from the is20 is10262 okay 1982 so for our degree of uh, quality control specified that is uh, good the value of standard deviation from the table okay is uh, 5 sorry 5.3 okay so for uh, this um, is 5.3 for our design mix of m25 okay this is 5.3 newton per mm square so our uh, target mean strength uh, this is fck that is the characteristic strength uh, plus 1.65 into uh, uh, sigma this will be 25 plus 1.65 into 5.3 which is 33.745 uh, newton per mm square okay so our target mean strength to get a characteristic compressive strength of 25 newton per mm square is 33.745 newton per mm square okay after finding the target mean strength the next step is to find the uh, water cement ratio okay again we will use the chart uh, given in the uh, is code okay which gives us the 28 a day compressive strength of concrete versus the relationship uh, versus the water cement ratio okay and these different curves are for the different cement strength okay so uh, for our cement strength of 51 newton per mm square we can see it uh, falls in this curve d okay which is from 46.6 to 51.5 newton per mm square so uh, curve d is selected so for our target mean strength of 33.745 which is here okay you will draw a word uh, you will draw a horizontal line okay uh, it will cut the curve d you can see this is curve d at some point okay from that draw a vertical line and you will get the water cement ratio desired water cement ratio which in this case is 0 0.46 okay and uh, for moderate exposure and reinforced concrete the maximum water cement ratio specified in the is code is 0 0.5 so our uh, value of 0 0.6 obtained is acceptable okay after that uh, you will find the approximate air content in our concrete so for maximum size of aggregate of 20 mm we can see the uh, entrapped air is approximately two percent okay and after that you will find the water content and the sand as a percentage of total aggregate by absolute volume in our concrete so uh, for uh, our concrete grade of m25 you can see and nominal maximum size of aggregate 20 mm you can see the water content is 186 kg per cubic meter and sand as a percentage of total aggregate by absolute volume is 35 percent okay so water content uh, per cubic meter of concrete is 186 liters and sand as a percentage of total aggregate by absolute volume is 35 percent okay uh, this uh, table is for some standard conditions like the uh, aggregate should be angular 
okay water cement ratio for uh, maximum water cement ratio for grade up to m35 should be 0.5 and value of compacting uh, factor should be 0.8 uh, for conditions other than the standard conditions we have to make some adjustments uh, to the values okay you can see the adjustment of values in the water content and sand as a percentage for conditions other than those in the table okay so we have to make some adjustment okay so our sand it is conforming to the grade third okay but the table is for uh, previous table this is for a grade second so for sand conforming to the a grade uh, third you can see the water content this is nil so adjustment in our water content should be nil and uh, adjustment in the sand in total aggregate this will be minus 1.5 percent for zone third grade zone third uh, grade sand okay and for uh, water we have to increase or decrease in the value of compacting factor by 0 0.1 uh, if it is uh, it changes from the standard compacting factor of 0 0.8 so our compacting factor is 0 0.85 which is greater than 0 0.8 so we have to increase the value uh, our increase in value of the compacting factor is 0 0.85 minus 0 0.8 standard is 0 0.8 and our compacting factor value given the question is 0 0.85 so difference that is increases 0 0.05 for every 0 0.1 percent we have to increase it by uh, 3% okay so our increase is 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.1 multiply it by 3 you will get the adjustment in the water content which is 1.5% plus 1.5% because our compacting factor value is greater than the standard okay and adjustment in the sand is 0 similarly if the water content we have to either increase or uh, decrease the free water cement ratio if it deviates from the standard which is 0 0.5 our uh, water content is 0 0.46 which is less than the standard value which is 0 0.5 so we have to decrease the value of water cement ratio we have to decrease the water content so decrease in the value of water cement ratio is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.46 which is 0 0.4 okay so adjustment in water content will be zero but adjustment in the sand content uh, it will decrease uh, for every 0 0.05 but our decrease is 0 0.04 so for 0 0.04 it will be 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.05 into 1 because for every 0 0.05 increase or decrease change is plus minus 1 percent okay so for our 0 0.04 uh, decrease in the value of water cement ratio change will be minus 0 0.8 percent okay and our aggregate it is already angular so we don't have to make any changes okay so overall adjustment in the water content will be plus 1.5 percent and overall adjustment in the sand content it will be minus 1.5 minus 0 0.8 which is minus 2.8 percent okay so incorporate the above changes so sand content which was 35 percent it will be 35 minus 2.8 which is 32.2 percent and water content it was 186 liters so we have to increase it by 1.5 percent so 186 plus 1.5 into 80 186 divided by 100 which is 188.8 liters okay after that uh, you will determine the cement content so our water cement ratio is 0 0.46 and quantity of water after adjustment is 188.8 liters so cement content will be 188.8 divided by 0 0.46 which is 410.43 kg will be our cement also the minimum cement in the is code for mild exposure condition is uh, 300 kg per meter cube so our value of 410.43 kg per meter cube is acceptable okay after finding the cement content now you will find the quantity of coarse and fine aggregates okay per cubic meter of concrete assume the volume of concrete is one cubic meter absolute volume will be one cubic meter minus the entrapped air which was two percent so one minus 0 0.02 which is 0 0.98 meter cube will be the absolute volume of concrete or 980 liters okay again absolute volume of fresh concrete you have to remember this formula it is given as v is equal to w plus v wc divided by sc plus wfa divided by p into uh, sfa into 1 by 100 where uh, v is the absolute volume of fresh concrete which is 980 liters w this is the mass of the water per cubic meter of concrete which is 188.8 liters okay wc is the mass of cement per cubic meter of concrete which is 410.43 kg and specific gravity of uh, cement is 3.15 okay this formula is for the 
uh, to find the quantity of the fine aggregates okay there is another formula to find the quantity of coarse aggregate i will show it in the next slide okay and uh, p this is the ratio of fine aggregate to the total aggregate by absolute volume that is it is the percentage of sand in our concrete which is 32.2 percent which is 0 0.322 and uh, WFA, which is the mass of fine aggregate per cubic meter of concrete, which we have to find out at specific gravity of fine aggregates is 2.66. Putting values in the uh, above equation, you will get the value of mass of fine aggregates as 566.08 kg. Also, absolute volume of fresh concrete in terms of coarse aggregate, this is given as V is equal to W plus WC divided by SC plus WCA divided by 1 minus P into SCA into 1 by 100. This WC is the uh, mass of the coarse aggregate and SC is the specific gravity of the coarse aggregate. So mass of coarse aggregate which we have to find out and specific gravity of coarse aggregate is 2.72. All the values uh, uh, will be will remain same. Okay, putting values we get the value of weight of coarse aggregate is equal to 1218.81 kg. Okay. Now we have to make some adjustment for the water absorption and the moisture content. Okay, so water absorbed by the coarse aggregate. Okay, uh, percentage absorption of coarse aggregate was 0.5%. So water absorbed by coarse aggregate will be 1218.81 into 0.5%, which is 6.09 liter. And moisture content in the fine aggregates was 2%. So free water in the fine aggregates will be 566.08 into 2 by 100, which is 11.32 liter. It means the actual quantity of water is 188.8, which is the required, plus water absorbed by the coarse aggregate. You have to add that water and also you have to decrease the water in the fine aggregate. So uh, actual quantity of water required will be 183.57 liters. Okay. And actual quantity of coarse aggregate, you have to add uh, the weight of the coarse aggregate, uh, which is the... Uh, percentage absorption of water you have to decrease because the actual quantity of coarse aggregate is 1218.81 minus 6.09 which was the uh, percentage of water absorbed by the coarse aggregate so actual quantity of coarse aggregate is 1212.72 and uh, actual quantity of sand which is the 566.08 plus uh, free moisture uh, which is present in the fine aggregate you have to add that much sand so it will be 577.4 kg okay so actual quantities of materials required here will be cement is 410.43 kg water is 183.57 liters sand is 577.4 kg and coarse aggregate is 1212.72 kgs okay after finding the actual quantity now we will blend the aggregates to get the required gradation okay so according to the is uh, 383 we have to combine fraction one and second of the course aggregate to get a combined grading okay which uh, recommends that fraction passing the 10 mmc shall be in the range of 25 to 55 percent okay on an average 40 percent and uh, fraction passing the c 20 m should be 60 percent so we will make the trials to combine the fraction first and second in the proportion of let us say 40 is to 60 and we will see whether the combined grading is obtained as per the IS383. Okay. So mass of fraction that is 10 mm. Our total mass of course aggregate is 1212.72. So if I take 40%, 40 uh, percent of 10 mm, so it will be zero uh, required 10 mm will be 0 0.4 in 1212.72, which is 485.09 kg. And mass of fraction uh, uh, for second that is 20 mm maximum size aggregate this will be 60 percent of 1212.72 so it will be 0 0.6 into 1212.72 which is 727.63 kg okay the combined gradation okay after taking 40 percent for 10 mm and 60 percent for uh, 20 mm is given you can see the combined gradation uh, is according to the desired grading as per IS383 that is 40 mm is percentage passing is 100 mm for 25 it is 100 mm for 20 mm it's 95.2 which is in the range of 95 to 100 for 12.5 mm it's 54.4 for 10 mm it's 43.2 which is again in the range of 25 to 55 okay and for 4.75 mm it's 2.2 which is in the range of 0 to 10 okay so simply you have to take 40 percent of the 10 mm 
uh, aggregate and 60% uh, of the 20 mm aggregate okay uh, so mix proportion of the trial mix this is finally cement required is 410.43 water is 183.57 sand is 577.4 coarse fraction 10 mm maximum size aggregate is 485.09 and coarse fraction 20 mm maximum size aggregate is 727.63 okay and to find the uh, mix ratio simply divide it by uh, simply divide it by the quantity of cement so 410.43 divided by 410.43 it's one and if you divide 183.57 divided by 410.43 please 0 0.44 sand similarly for sand it will be 1.406 for coarse fraction 10 mm maximum size aggregate it will be 1.182 and coarse fraction 20 mm maximum size aggregate it will be 1.773 this will be the mix proportion okay for our uh, design mix okay so this is how you can uh, design any concrete mix as per the is uh, code i hope this social video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new if you have some uh, doubts okay you can write them in the comment box and i will answer your doubts thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned